Trump refers to the press as the enemy of the people. I refer to them as the enemy of the truth. For example, this has been going on with Trump for three years. So Trump could come up with a vaccine for the coronavirus. The report the next day, though, across the press would be, he lied, he stole it, he cheated, he colluded with the Russians, and he's only in it for the money. He doesn't care about your life. I mean, you know, that would be the story. Well, that's okay, it's politicians. It enrages me, though, when I see that type of reporting geared toward the American people. And we see it now with these protesters who are in city capitals, several states across the country, protesting these lockdowns. Here's what the press is saying, if you don't know this already. The protesters are Trump supporters, they're conservatives, they're carrying guns and Confederate flags, so they're racist, and most importantly, they want you to die, especially if you're black or brown. This is what they're promoting. Now, I have to admit, I haven't been to a protest, I don't do protests, so I can't say for sure. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and go against the press and say, I could imagine some people are protesting the lockdown because they lost their jobs and they fear for their future. And the government did this. I could even imagine some people who would go protest because of just losing their civil rights, individual freedoms. I actually could see that happening. So it's not about politics or Trump supporters or guns or anything else. It's just about the lockdown. And by the way, they say there's Confederate flags and swastikas. I do know there were swastikas because I heard a woman interviewed in Lansing, Michigan. She had one. It also said on her sign, Heil Whitmer. And her point was that the governor of Michigan was acting like a Hitler-style fascist in some of these ridiculous, insane regulations she was throwing at the people. So she wasn't a Nazi. That's the point. The press had it all wrong 100%, but the truth is inconvenient for them. You know what signs were visible in a lot of these protests? Simple stuff like land of the free, proud health care worker, free Michigan, social distancing, yes, tyranny, no. One cool sign in several protests were be like Sweden. I mentioned that one because the reporter actually did an entire article on this to, to, to laugh at conservatives who are pro-socialism in Sweden. And I want to go, really? So what's not an option is that Sweden is the only country in the world who did not do a lockdown, and yet they have a better record, better health with coronavirus than any nation in Europe. That can't be the option. Friends, open your eyes and don't be the sheep that the press wants you to be.